To customize your YouTube channel layout from most YouTube desktop screens, click on the profile image in the top right hand corner and go to the YouTube studio. From here, down the left hand navigation panel, you should see a customization link. Click that and you'll be able to set up your channel trailer, featured sections, featured channel, profile picture, channel banner, video watermark, channel about section, channel links and more. Let's do this. The changes that you make on the YouTube Studio customization screen will mostly impact your YouTube channel layout for both desktop and mobile. Remember, this is your home, make it as welcoming as possible for your guests. The customization screen is divided into three tabs. The layout tab, which helps you build the foundations of your channel. The branding tab adds style, design and color to your channel while the basic info tab adds text and links to your channel. Also, don't forget to publish any changes you make and be sure to watch this whole tutorial for lots of extra valuable tips along the way about how to set up your YouTube channel. All right then, let's first take a look at the video spotlight section. Put simply, if a non-subscriber visits your channel, a channel trailer will automatically play like this. In this video, we're gonna guide you through what it takes to get 4,000 hours of watch time on YouTube. So settle in because this is a big one. I think that 10 second clip from that video pretty accurately describes what vidIQ is, a YouTube growth channel. It's not specifically a channel trailer video, it's one of our best converting videos from viewers into subscribers. But if you were to make a dedicated channel trailer, then here are a few quick tips. Keep the video very brief, no more than 45 seconds. Include B-roll, some of your best content, as you introduce yourself to camera and tell people who should be watching and why and inject as much personality into the video as you can. And of course, once viewers have converted into subscribers, then you might want to show them an entirely different video. Which is why YouTube gives you the option to show a channel trailer to non-subscribers and a different featured video to subscribers. To change either of these, mouse over the appropriate box and click the three dots to either remove or change the trailer. From this pop-up, you can search your channel for the video you would like to use and click on it to select it. Don't forget to save and publish your changes once you've made them. Below the video, we have the features section of the channel layout. These comprise mostly of playlists or a collection of videos and here's a pro tip for you. Create a playlist that welcomes someone to your channel and shows the viewer what type of content you make. Here we've gone for some vidIQ walkthrough tutorial videos and guides on how to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Remember, we are creator-obsessed YouTube education and these videos reflect exactly that. The second featured section is devoted to our most recent uploads. It quickly informs visitors that we upload regularly and we've uploaded recently. That's a mark of consistency, which is what visitors like to see. To start tinkering with this section, from the Customize Page Layout tab in the Studio, scroll down to the Feature section. This will show you all your current sections. You are allowed a maximum of 10. To reorder these, click and drag the icon to the left. You can add a new section from the top right. Sections include recent uploads, popular uploads, live streams and channel sections that we'll come back to later. In this example, we are going to add a new playlist, which is very similar to adding a featured video. This new section will be added to the bottom of the list where you can click and drag to place. For each section, you can use the three dots to edit it. In some cases, it will allow you to change the playlist. You can also view the playlist that you've placed in the featured section. And while we're here, here's another pro tip. If you are going to add a playlist to a featured section, make sure to write a description for that playlist. It will be displayed in the featured section on your channel layout, adding more context to the content you're trying to show your visitors. The featured channel section down the right hand side here has been around on YouTube for years. However, I have both good news and bad news about this. The bad news is it's going away as it appears now at the end of 2020. But the good news is you can now add it as a featured section on your channel. 
From this pop-up, you can change the title of a section as well as search for any channel on YouTube and add it to your list. Once in the list, you can click and drag to reorder or remove a channel from this section. And as before, once you've added this section to your channel layouts, you can reorder it. Whenever you make these changes and publish them, make sure to use the channel link at the top of the customization screen to see the changes on your YouTube channel. And as we scroll down the channel page, we now see our new featured channel section. Notice also how it's no longer displaying on the right hand side. I've got to be honest, I'm not sure I like this change. What do you think? Moving on to branding now, this is where you can customize parts of your channel with your logos. For the profile picture, there are a couple of things to bear in mind. Although you are uploading a square image, it will be displayed on YouTube as a circular image. When you upload the picture, it will show you how that crop will affect your picture. So make sure you don't include anything important in any of the corners of your image. There are even more things to consider with your channel banner. It must fit three media types, TV, desktop, and mobile. This last one is the most important since most people watch YouTube on a mobile device these days and often people make banners that are cut off at the sides as they design it for desktop rather than mobile. When you upload a banner image, YouTube will show you how the image will look on different devices and you can click and drag at the corners to resize it if you need to. When it comes to YouTube profile images and channel banners, and you could probably extend this to thumbnails as well, I have one very simple piece of advice. Keep it simple. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Communicate what your channel is about in a way your audience can understand in a few seconds. Also, as a side note, you can change both images from this page by mousing over either the profile image or channel banner and clicking on the camera icon. This will redirect you back to the customization page in the YouTube studio. The next branding feature is the video watermark that adds a small square image to the bottom right hand corner of your videos. It has the added benefit of being a subscribe call to action on desktop where you can mouse over the image and subscribe to the channel. That's why we generally recommend adding a subscribe style image rather than a channel logo. As an added bonus, we are including this subscribe button image in the video description. So download it and use it as you please. You can also customize when this watermark appears. Again, we generally recommend having it visible throughout your entire video. Give your viewers as much opportunity to subscribe as possible. Now then, let's move from video watermarks and branding to basic info. Starting out with the most basic of all things, your channel name. While it is now super simple to change your channel name from here, you have to bear in mind the impact it has on your Google account. That's because if you have a personal YouTube channel account and you change the YouTube channel name, that can actually change your Google account name. However, if you have a brand YouTube account channel, changing the name for your channel doesn't impact your Google account. Yes, I know that sounds really confusing. As you might expect, this takes a little bit of explaining, so we have put together a dedicated video over here. Make sure to check it out. For your channel about section, speak directly to your target audience. Tell them the value they will gain from watching your content rather than writing about what you, the creator, wants to get out of the channel. Also make sure to include some keywords that relate to your content and note that you have 1000 characters to play with. You can also translate your channel name and about section, but as of time of recording, you have to do this manually. Next up, you can add links to your channel banner if you want to, to promote your website, other social media platforms, and so on. The first link is super important, and I'll show you why in a second. From here, you can reorder the links as well as adding and removing links if you need to. You are allowed a maximum of five links on the channel banner, and on your desktop YouTube channel page, they look like this. Notice how only the first link includes text. That's why it's so important. And notice how we've used graphics in the channel banner itself to promote this link. The reason we can do this is because this part of the channel banner is cropped out on mobile devices. In fact, links don't even appear on the channel banner. They are hidden deep down in the about section of your channel. And now for the final piece of this puzzle, your contact email. Again, some very simple advice here. 
Don't make this the same email as your YouTube account, as this might present a backdoor way to hack into your channel. We do hope you found this guide useful. After all, here at vidIQ, that's our mission to educate you on your YouTube journey. And if you want more content just like this, make sure to subscribe and check out the beginner's guide playlist over here. And if you wanna grow your channel with awesome analytics and actionable steps, then download vidIQ. We've got a little showcase video down here, which shows you exactly what we can offer you. Enjoy the rest of your video making day.